The problems of the interrelationship between the consciousness and unconsciousness in the psyche of man. If we compare the possibilities of consciousness and the unconscious, then in one literature it says subconsciousness, in another, superconsciousness. I use a different term. We say that these are the unconscious levels of the psyche. They cannot be put higher or lower. These are two systems interacting with each other. But of the fact that this is, sometimes even doubts arise about this, we are convinced by the example of a child, when he has no consciousness but already has something. Thus, in computer technology, consciousness is the operative memory, unconscious levels of the psyche are the hard drive. The possibilities of consciousness and unconscious levels of the psyche are fundamentally different from the point of view of information capacity and information processing speed. At the level of consciousness, a person is able to process information at a speed of 15 bits per second. That is, you can only imagine 15 pictures per second, but not more. The computer does not allow further. On this, as is known, the effect of a movie is built. When your picture appears 24 times per second, then you no longer see any of the pictures. You see a certain process, but you no longer distinguish the pictures. In addition, it is very important to understand that a person, simultaneously, at the level of consciousness, can hold, depending on the intellectual abilities of the person, from seven to nine objects, and no more. That is, if you want to build any system of governance, you must understand this, that it's impossible to govern if you are dealing with more than nine subjects. This is basically impossible. That is, you can't observe an integrity. That is, you have 25 regions, in one you need to reduce something, but you will not be able to provide how this will affect the rest. Therefore, very serious strategic decisions have been made recently at the level of the president. It seems to me that today this is a very serious understanding which should not be talked about, it would be wrong for certain reasons, but it's necessary to act according to purpose consonants. You can say only words, but purpose consonants is much more important. And so, when Putin introduced seven districts, this is a fundamental strategic decision. If 89 subjects of the Federation are closed on the head of state, this is an inherently ungovernable system. That is, it means that the one who heads the system, he does not govern anything. A completely different algorithmics operates, into which he may not even be initiated. When you have nine subjects of the Federation, or seven, then you can talk about real governance. Seven, I think, is also no coincidence. Probably there will be eight or nine in the future. I'll tell you a very important thought. Now we are translating a work. While I'm not talking about it, we are getting very serious information from abroad, including translating it. We will translate one work, which is essentially the methodological basis of the entire theory that is used by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency. So from there I will give only one thought. Think how deeply they understand that they serve the information like this. Consciousness is just a new service for the unconscious levels of the psyche. Therefore, if a person thinks that everything is decided at the level of consciousness, he will never succeed. Consciousness is just a new service for the unconscious levels of the psyche. All human capabilities lie in the possibilities of using the unconscious levels of the psyche. I have given you data on the possibilities of consciousness, the possibilities of consciousness and the possibilities of the Winchester, unconscious levels of the psyche, differ from each other by 10 to the 8th degree. This is approximately, if we take simpler visual images, like a drop of water in an ocean. These are the correlations between the possibilities of the conscious levels of the psyche 
and the unconscious levels of the psyche. And therefore, to expect that you can solve everything and ensure everything, if you don't understand something, you need to rely primarily on the unconscious levels of the psyche. Then there will never be success either in the corporation or with you specifically. But the interaction of consciousness and the unconscious levels of the psyche, this also needs to be very clearly envisioned. Without delving into the theory of processes at the level of the theory of the brain, I am trying to somehow present this in a figurative form. The interrelationship between consciousness and the unconscious levels of the psyche can be compared with the interrelationship between a pilot and an autopilot. Now, if your plane is flying, it can be governed by a pilot, but there is an autopilot. Autopilot capabilities are sometimes much more powerful than individual pilot capabilities. As an example, with our last IL plane that crashed near Irkutsk, this example suggests that had the autopilot been turned on, then there would have been no problems at all. But problems arose at the level of the pilot. There was a conflict situation and governance was lost. Therefore, it is very important to understand that we have a pilot and we have an autopilot. And you need to trust the autopilot very often. And it's very important because the autopilot has much more of an idea of what is happening than the pilot at the level of consciousness. There are two ways of developing a world understanding and assimilating by a person of everything that is on earth. You can try to pull everything that's included in the autopilot to the level of consciousness and assign everything to the pilot and count only on him. This leads to processes like yoga. What is yoga? Yoga is an attempt to get everything out of the unconscious levels. These are simple practices, and if you sit and only do this around the clock, you can remember not only what happened yesterday, a year ago, but you can gradually reach the moment of birth and so on. You also have the soul, but you have the soul at the unconscious levels of the psyche, and yoga brings it all to the conscious levels of the psyche. And then what? And then the roof blows off, because the possibilities of consciousness are limited, and such people are already little adapted to real practical life. Another algorithmics is much more correct, when the pilot reserves only the most significant, including the improvement of the algorithms of the working of the autopilot. This belongs only to the pilot, that is, you can teach the computer to play chess, but still, it will play only to that degree to which it was taught by the one who programmed it. So it is here. All the possibilities of the unconscious levels of the psyche, or the possibilities of the autopilot, they are determined by the pilot. And the pilot should, instead of removing a whole group of functions from the autopilot, improve the algorithmics of the autopilot and develop his own capabilities without overloading his own brain. And of course, a system is also possible where consciousness can be turned off. And you know of cases when people, for example, having taken an excess share of alcohol, end up at home, but they don't remember how. They came home on autopilot. That is, consciousness did not work, and the unconscious levels of the psyche worked and brought the person home. Therefore, it is very important to understand these things.